There are some big changes to the CPP, the Canada Pension Plan, and this will affect your paycheck. Hey guys, it's Adrian here, the Canadian in a t-shirt, and today I'll break down the important changes to the CPP in 2024 that you need to know. Every year the CPP makes small adjustments to the annual limits, percentage rates, that's nothing new. But this year, on January 1st, the CPP is being restructured with a secondary tier for higher incomes. This is a big change, so I wanted to make a dedicated video just for the CPP. The regular tax changes for 2024, I'll cover that as soon as they release the details. For the CPP, here's the bottom line. If you make less than 66,000, your CPP contributions won't change you're gonna pay the same amount as you did in 2023. But if you have a higher income above 73K, you're gonna pay an extra $300 in CPP this year. I'll break it down, but real quick, the Canada Pension Plan is a federal retirement plan that we all pay into while we're working. And when you retire, you get to take that money out. It ensures that every Canadian will have at least some level of income when they retire. Note, if you live in Quebec, you'll pay into the QPP instead. It's very similar. And let's be clear, the CPP is not a tax. It doesn't go to the government, it doesn't fund the federal budget, it's a pooled retirement fund that we, Canadian workers, contribute to. Our employers also contribute. All of our money is invested together, and when we retire, we take back our cut. Whatever you put in is your money, you get it back. If you contribute more, you get more. If you contribute less, you get less. Yes, the CPP contributions come out of your paycheck, but it's not a tax. That money is still yours. So why is the CPP going up? No surprise, inflation. The cost of living goes up every year. So the future cost of your retirement also grows. So yes, we will pay more out of each paycheck, but we'll gain a larger benefit once we retire, especially for millennials and Gen Z. In fact, with these changes, young workers who will retire 40 years from now will collect 50% more retirement income than current pensioners. Sounds great, but how much do we pay? We start with the basic exemption of $3,500. You don't pay any CPP on the first 3,500 of income. That number is not changing. Anything above 3,500, you contribute 5.95% of that income to the CPP, up to an annual limit. This contribution rate, 5.95%, that's also not changing. The first change of 2024 is that limit, the maximum CPP contribution. For 2023, this limit was $3,745. That was the maximum amount you could put into your CPP. You'd pay 5.95% of each paycheck until you reached 3,745. Then your CPP deductions would stop. Now for 2024, it's bumped up to $3,867. So the max you'll pay has gone up by $100, but that's not all. You'll only reach this max amount if you have a salary above $68,500 for 2024. This number is called the maximum pensionable earnings. So once you made 68,500 in a year, your CPP deductions would stop and you'd see a bump in your paycheck for the rest of the year. See how this works in my pay stub video using my actual paychecks as examples. So that was the old system, simple. Now the big change. For 2024, higher income Canadians will face a second level of CPP contributions. So in tier one, you pay 5.95% until your income reaches that first ceiling, $68,500. Now we have tier two, any income above that gets charged 4% until we reach the second ceiling, of $73,200. This new limit is called the additional maximum pensionable earnings. It's an awful name, I know, but this is the income you need to maximize your CPP contributions. So how much more do we pay? In the second tier, we pay 4% of the income between these two ceilings. So the max, 73,200 minus 68,500, that's $4,700 of income. Taking 4% of that, we get $188 of additional CPP contributions. That's on top of the $100 increase we already saw in tier one. In 2023, the max CPP contribution was $3,754. For 2024, combining both tiers, the max CPP contribution is $4,055. So if your income is above 73K, you'll pay an extra $300 in CPP this coming year. Let's see two examples, starting with a salary of $60,000. Remember, the basic exemption is $3,500. We don't pay any CPP on this. So take the difference, we get $56,500. We pay 5.95% of this in CPP, the same rate for both years. So in total, we pay $3,361 in CPP. 
no change. If your income is 60K, you'll pay the exact same CPP amount in 2024. Let's look at a high income of $90,000. This is higher than the maximum pensionable earnings for both years, 66,600 in 2023 and 68,500 in 2024. So we use these max values, not our 90K salary. Again, take away the exemption of 3,500. On the difference, we pay 5.95% giving us 3,754, the maximum CPP contribution in 2023. And for 2024, we get $3,867. This is the max in tier one. Now we move on to tier two. This is new for 2024. Tier two has an income ceiling of $73,200. And we only care about income above ceiling one. So the difference is $4,700. On this amount, we pay the new CPP rate of 4%. That gives us $188 of CPP in tier two. For the total in 2024, we add the two tiers and we get $4,055. That's the maximum anyone can pay into CPP in 2024. So for a high income above 73K, you'll pay $300 more in CPP this year. Remember for CPP, you contribute and your employer contributes as well on your behalf. But if you are self-employed, you're running your own business, you are your employer. So you'll have to pay double the CPP. Regular Canadian employees, the CPP maximum in 2024 is $4,055. But for self-employed, it's double at $8,110. Make sure you watch the rest of my Canadian tax guide, my videos with the silver colored thumbnails to learn tax saving strategies and stay tuned for more CPP videos coming soon. So thanks everyone. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of the Canadian in a t-shirt. Bye guys.